Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would bring you along with me while I cooked dinner today. Normally, if I'm gonna do a cook with me, I do my hair, I do my makeup. Not today. You know what I always say, it's real life around here, and today was a no makeup and no hair day, giving my face a break from having makeup on, just some of my homemade moisturizer, my skin oil, and that's it. So. You're not here to look and see what color lipstick I'm wearing. You're here to see what I'm making for dinner. So who cares, right? Right. So <laughs> we are making, I don't even remember what it's called. It's pork pasta and mushroom skillet, I believe. Something like that. Um, I guess I should have looked before I started. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get pasta started. I am not gonna show you that in detail because You've seen me make pasta a million times. I'm gonna do penne today because it's my favorite, you know that. Um, and then we're gonna get into the heart of the recipe, um, cooking the pork and the mushrooms and making the sauce and all that good stuff. So hang out with me, cook dinner with me, and let's see how this turns out because it's a new recipe. So I don't know, we'll s figure it out. the ingredients we need and it looks like a lot but I don't know like to me like chicken broth and spices aren't really ingredients but whatever so I am having this recipe so I'm gonna try not to give you amounts because I don't want to confuse you if you look at the recipe online and go well what do you mean two pounds of pork it says it, you know so I'm just gonna try to tell you the ingredients you can look at the recipe online Okay, we have flour, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika, some chicken broth, some Marcella cooking wine, you can also use white wine, cornstarch, olive oil, butter, an onion, mushrooms, sour cream, and that is the pasta that we made earlier, well, part of the pasta we made earlier. But you can use any kind of pasta, anything you want. This is what we need. I already cut my pork tenderloin down. Um, you know, pork tenderloin's like kind of a long and skinny piece of meat. So I just sliced it into probably about three quarter inch pieces. The recipe calls for a pound, uh, two pounds. I have a pound here. So I'm just making three servings instead of the six. So, oh, garlic. I'm not sure if I mentioned garlic. So that's all we need. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our dredging mixture with our flour, our onion powder, our garlic powder, and our paprika. We are gonna give that a good stir. Oh, salt and pepper also. I forgot the salt and pepper. Oh, I made a mess. Okay, there we go. And now we're just gonna take our pieces of our pork loin and dredge them right in our flour mixture. And I'm just putting them on a plate next to me because our next step is going to be searing these in our skillet. So I am gonna go finish these. Oh, I didn't keep a clean hand. You always should keep a clean hand. And I didn't. So I'm gonna go finish these and then we're gonna go over to the stove 
and we're gonna sear these. Actually, I think before I sear them, I'm going to slice our mushrooms and slice our onion, just so that is all prepared and ready to go. You guys have seen people slice onions and you've seen people slice mushrooms. So I will do that off camera and save you from that drudgery. But we will get those prepared first and then we will go and sear all of this beautiful pork tenderloin. Okay, I have half of my olive oil in the pan heating up, heated up and Oh, it's not hot enough yet. There's no sizzle. We need to just put the pork in. But it's not quite hot enough yet, so we're going to just give it a minute until it gets a little bit hotter. Okay, that's better. You can hear it sizzling now. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, but I only have a few pieces left, so I'm going to put them in. And then we are just gonna let this cook until it gets a beautiful sear. And then we're gonna flip it over and let the other side cook. We want it pretty much cooked all the way through. It will heat up in the sauce at the end, but we want it 85, 90% cooked at this stage. So we're just gonna let this cook over a medium high heat We'll come back and check on it. I also have my water over here. You can't see it getting ready um, for the pasta. So let's see what this looks like when it's done. Okay, our pork is done and I apologize if the dog is barking. Somebody has the nerve to walk down the street. So I'm just gonna remove the pork to a dish and I'm gonna put it in the oven in my warmer in the warm setting while we cook our veggies. So to the same pan, I'm not gonna clean it or anything, we're gonna add the rest of our olive oil, the other half. And we're also going to add in our butter. And then we're going to add in our onion. The onion is supposed to be sliced. I chopped it. And our mushrooms. Stir those around to give them a nice coating of the oil and butter mixture. And then we are just going to cook these until the onions start to caramelize and the mushrooms turn a beautiful golden brown and cook. We're just gonna cook it over a medium, medium low heat. It's probably gonna take about five or 10 minutes until they're how I like them. You have to just watch for the juices in the mushrooms to start releasing and then you'll know you're on the right track. Once we come close to being done, in about the last minute, when you think they have about a minute left to go, we'll put in the minced garlic and just give that a quick cook. Garlic burns so quickly, so we don't want that to be in there too long. Then we're gonna deglaze the pan. So we're just gonna let these cook and see what they look like. Okay, these mushrooms and onions are looking beautiful. So I am just going to Press our clove of garlic in there. Give that a quick stir until you can smell it. Once you can start smelling the garlic, you know you are ready to turn off the heat or go on to your next step. Mmm. Okay, I am so excited for this dinner, I gotta tell you. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start building our sauce. 
and deglaze the pan. No, I lied. <laughs> we are going to first put our cornstarch. You can use cornstarch or flour. I like cornstarch. I think it just makes smoother. We're going to sprinkle that over. Stir that around. This is going to be the base of our sauce. This is going to be our thickener. And you just want to do this first so it's not, you're not getting a raw flour or raw cornstarch taste. Just mix that real well until everything is coated. Then we're going to add in our liquid. We're going to deglaze the pan and start getting this sauce thickened. When you're doing this, make sure you're scraping up all those brown bits that are in the bottom of the pan, because those, my friends, are flavor. I'm gonna turn this heat up a little bit. because we want this to come to a very light boil just so the start sauce starts to thicken up just a little bit. Because my broth and my, not my wine, but my broth was straight from the refrigerator. So it was cold. If you're using room temperature broth, you don't have to worry too much about this. Okay, it's definitely thickening up for us. Now, while you are doing this, you want to have your pasta cooking. Because I am using fresh pasta, it only takes about three minutes to cook. So I am going to wait till everything is done before I cook my pasta. But if you're using a dry pasta that takes, you know, 10, 12, whatever minutes, you want to get that started. Okay, this is definitely thickening up, so I am going to turn it down, and then we are going to add in our sour cream. And I am going to use a whisk to break that up. and get it distributed through the gravy and the sauce. Oh my word. I wish you guys could smell this. This smells heavenly. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer. And what we are going to do next is we are going to add back in our pork that we've been keeping warm. And you wanna give that a stir. You want all that pork to get in there and get coated with the sauce. And then we are just gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna let it simmer for another couple minutes until the sauce continues to thicken and our pork is heated and cooked through. And I need to get my pasta in the water. Okay, our pasta is finished and I drained it. I did not rinse it. I don't like to rinse my pasta. I like that good starchiness on it. We're just going to put it in here and we're going to give it a nice stir. Now, like I said, I did have this recipe. If you make the full recipe, it will serve six. This is going to serve three. 
So Doug and I will eat it for dinner tonight. And then Doug will have a lunch for tomorrow. So that worked out perfect for me. So there it is, my friends. There is our pork mushroom and pasta skillet. And I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. Okay, here is the meal plated up. That is one serving. You can, I just weigh the whole thing and then divide it by three. If you wanna get really technical, you could weigh out the meat and the pasta and all that separately. Honestly, I eyeball it. So there it is. I will let you know how we like it. I am serving it with a side salad. Well, my friends, I will say we have really enjoyed it. It was very good. If you did not wanna make this with pork, you could easily make it with chicken. You would probably drop some points because chicken is zero where pork is not, but you would gain some calories because believe it or not, chicken breast is more calories than a lean pork tenderloin. So you're gaining calories, losing points. So whatever it is that you count, however it is that you journal or um, track, you know, there it is. So, but I definitely think it would be really good with chicken also. But we really enjoyed it and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments if you think this is something you might try to make. I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms. We are huge mushroom people. So this was right up and you know I like sauce. You know I'm a gravy girl. So this was right up my alley. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend it cooking with me. And I will see you all tomorrow for a menu plan.